द प्राइस ऑफर कर्व एंड द डिमेंड कर्व As we know the consumer's demand curve as we have shown many times before that it depends upon the commodity's own price other goods price and the consumer income when we consider this it means whenever there will be the change in the commodity's price then the consumer demand will change this relationship between the change in the price and the change in the consumer demand is exhibited in the form of the consumer demand curve so whenever there will be the change in the price of a commodity then there will be the change in the shape of the consumer demand when we will join all the optimal choice bundles or the points available on the consumers indifference curve with the change in the price and we join this we come up with the curve that is called price consumption aur dusre alfaz mein agar hum kahe to ye keh sakte hain ki jaise jaise qeemat ke kam hone se consumer apni in apni demand ko enhance karta hai aur different bundles purchase karta hai to jo uske optimal choice ke bundles hain agar hum unko join kare aur usi tarah jaise jaise consumer किसी एक कमोडिटी की कीमत के बढ़ने से उसकी डिमांड को कम करता है तो उसकी ऑप्टिमल चॉइस बंडल का कम्बिनेशन चेंज होता है और अगर हम उनको ज्वाइन करें सो तो ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ ऑल द ऑप्टिमल चॉइस बंडल जो कि कीमत के चेंज होने से वकू पजीर हुए हैं तो देन वी कम अप विद द प्राइस कंजम्पन कर्व एंड दिस प्राइस कंजम्पन कर्व इज ऑल्सो कैन बी कॉल द प्राइस ऑफर कर्व when we draw in the form of the indifference curve we come up with this that the consumer he was having this original budget line and on this original budget line the consumer was having this indifference curve and now when the price of the commodity decreases it means its slope of the budget line will expand and now the consumer will change its indifference curve from this to this indifference curve and again with the decrease it will further shift to this so now the bundles of a b and the c all the optimal bundles with respect to the change in the price and when we join all these points we will come up with this type of the curve that is called price consumption curve or the price offer curve so this price offer curve and on the base of this here i have not shown their shape of direction it means if it can come either on this way it will be and if we change the price of x1 in the form that it shift from this budget line to this and to this with its increase again we will come up with the same price consumption curve but only its direction will be different so the price consumption curve for good x1 will be it will be the total plot or the locus of all the utility maximization points or the optimal choice bundles with respect to the price of x1 and at the same time because it explains the relationship with the quantity demanded it provides us the individual demand curve so keeping in view the change in the price we have already studied the behavior of various commodities so there are mostly the commodities that will follow the law of demand and their demand will increase with the decrease in price then that will be the ordinary good and there will be certain goods that will have the exception to this behavior and their demand will increase with the increase in the price called the given goods so we can have the given goods and the ordinary goods and likewise we see that there are the commodities which are perfect substitute to each other 
if that the commodities we are dealing with the perfect substitutes and we see that the change in price is there and in the manner that the price of commodity 1 is greater than commodity price 2 and there can be a shape that will be different. So, when will be the condition that the commodity on x axis means price 1, it will be greater, it means consumer will prefer to have the commodity available on the y axis. Consumer us commodity kharidega, jo uske liye as compared to the costly thing cheaper hai. So, keeping in view the price, demand for x is 0. Now, we can say that the commodity that the consumer will give the perfect substitutes for the perfect substitutes, he reduce his demand. And this preference he will exhibit even in the further bundles. And when we will join these points, we will come up with a straight line. So, when we draw this curve, we see that there are the various indifference curves available to the consumer. And these various indifference curves, when the consumer, they are having the perfect substitute to each other and their budget line and like this, indifference curve is having this corner and likewise if he is having the other indifference curve with the change in budget line, he will come up with this point. And like this, if he is going to expand like this point, and we are going to join all these three points of the quantity demanded with respect to price, we are coming up with this behavior that is explained in this curve that the consumer first shift to there, and then again this straight line price consumption curve we are going to explain. And in a similar manner, if we are going to draw the demand curve from the price consumption curve, we can see that these various bundles of A, B and the C, they show the relationship of the two commodities X1 and the X2 with the change in the price of X1. So, this point it shows different price of the x1, this point again shows its different price and the third also shows the third price in the manner that price of x1 prime and prime at the second this and this the third prime and the third price is less than the second and the second is like this. So, in this manner, now we have the combinations where we can draw the points of x1 on the x-axis in the vertically. So, we are going to extend this point of x1 downward, this amount of the x1 purchased again to downward and this from this bundle, what were the commodity purchased of x1 to downward. And now on the y axis, we are going to have the prices of commodity x1. When we draw the curve with related to the price, we come up with the relationship. This that is called price consumption curve. And at the same time, it shows the relationship of the commodity quantity demanded with relation to its price. And it is also called consumer demand curve. So, this price consumption curve, it provides the solution to the economist to draw the relationship in the form of the demand curve with the help of this price consumption curve. And now, if we take the example of the perfect complements, we know that the perfect complements, they are utilized in the form of a combination. So, when there will be one commodity utilized in a manner that its price is going to change, but it will have no effect on the quantity demanded of that commodity because 
consumer will not be able to change its demand he has to change his demand only and only if he will be able to purchase that fixed amount bundle or the fixed proportion of the both so when we take the example like this we can see that the price consumption curve of the complements that will move like this because here if we see the price consumption curve they will be in the form of this vertex so they will be whatever they will be shifting they will be shifting only and only in a manner that they are available to the consumer when the both is having the fixed proportion so when we join these commodities bundle with the change in the price we can have with the in this form a straight line price consumption curve and if we draw again the demand curve from this diagram we can extend the points of x1 again on the other curve on the x axis and respective to these points we are going to have the price of commodities x1 on the vertical and then when we join join this we may have this demand curve that is depicted in the form of the diagram